Hello all, my name is Abdul Rahman and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another machine learning project video. So in this video, we are going to do the project of push-up counter using OpenCV and media pipe library in Python. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all guys, as usual, I'm going to use here the Visual Studio Code IDE. So in this IDE, I have created a folder called the push-up counter. Now in this folder, I have, I'm going to write here the code. So there I will be creating a file and then I'm going to write the code. So first of all, we are going to write such a code which will count the push-ups how many how many we do or how many we did. Okay. For example, right now I'm not going to use here the live in this video. So I'm going to use the some videos from the online. So here I have the two videos. So the first one is this one, which I selected from the iStock website. And then this, this is the one and the second one is this one. Okay. Now this person did a did one push up right so it's going to count how many push ups he is going to do or he did okay anyways let's create the file so i am going to give the push up dot py okay so here we have to import the two libraries the first one is the opencv and the second one is the media pipe okay so i am going to install these two libraries so i am going to type pip install cv sorry Open CV dash Python. Okay. Sorry. Open, open, open CV dash Python. Now I am getting the requirement already satisfied because I already installed this. Now I am going to install the media pipe. Okay. So here I also installed this. So I am going to, so that's why I am getting the requirement already satisfied. Okay. Now I am going to clear all of this and let's go ahead by importing the two libraries. So I'm going to import the CV2, the open CV library, and then I'm going to import the media pipe as MP. Okay. Now, after we imported, now what we have to do is we have to give here the variables, right? We have to create here the variables. So I'm going to create, first of all, three variables. Okay. So I'm going to give here the MP, sorry, MP, sorry, MP, MP drawing is equal to MP solutions dot drawing dot tutorials now the reason that we have given here is like first of all we are going to count the pose right for example when i do the push up like this when i do when i move my hands so it should detect the poses right so i'm going to create here so first of all it should detect them so that's why i'm going to draw here the contours then i'm going to give here the mp underscore in sorry drawing styles okay i have to give this the mp drawing styles then i have the mp solutions then the drawing style in which style it should uh, detect them after that i'm going to give the mp uh, the pose right like in which pose i am okay so i am going to give the pose then mp solutions dot pose now we have these three variables created then i'm going to create here the count which is equal to zero okay so this is equal to zero now we have to give it the position which position it is so for the position i am going to give none okay then i am going to capture here the video right like for example if i have to do the push-ups and i have to capture the video and it's take them right so that's why i am going to capture here the video so i am going to give the captions is equal to yeah cv2 dot capture now here remember one thing so we are we are creating a variable called the cap capture and we are saying that cb2 so it should capture it should so this is the function which is going to capture the video now here we the zero means the webcam of our laptop if you we give the one if we have the other webcam or the camera something like that you have to give the one if you want to use the second one now right now i want to use here the these two videos so i'm going to give here the video video dot mp4 okay now we are able to capture that right now i'm going to use here the width with the mp pose okay with mp pose dot pose i'm going to give here something called as right like we have to de detect here the confidence right so i'm going to give min min detection confidence so it should be 0 0.5 and min detection con tracking confidence it should be 0 0.5 i have given i might change this later on okay and yeah i suppose i have to give right now i am getting here something error with pose something like that right so here we have to okay so i have given min tracking 
with okay anyways let's check this later on so here i am going to change here this one i will tell you this later on so i'm going to give this to this seven so i'm in tracking confidence as opposed okay now here we are going to use the while loop so i'm going to give while uh, if we are saying something like while the capture is opened so we here i am getting the suggestion for typing all of this code with just one tab because here i am using a uh, extension in the visual studio code ide called as the codium so yeah i am not sponsoring this one i am just recommending to use it because it's very helpful for everyone okay now i'm going to use here the while cap is opened i'm going to sorry yeah i have to type this all of this code but right now um yeah i'm going to give something like this itself i'm going to change some of the code in this video uh, in this case so right now i have we have given the while cap is open if it is open then we are going to give here the success then image we are calling this cap this is what you say the variable okay if the camera is open if it is working which means that okay if it is working then read the camera okay if not the success if it is not reading the camera then we have to print the ignoring the empty camera frame okay now if loading a video use break instead of continue now i don't want this one yeah here i have to use here the break okay now here we have the break after that i have to use here i don't want this one also okay now here i'm going to remove this one the first one the false one because i might use this later on but first right now i don't want this okay so here i have the image which is the cv2.cvt color then i have to use here something called as the flip okay cv2 to dot flip flip and then in the bracket i'm going to use image comma one image comma one yeah i'm going to remove the image because i have i have to use that image here something here okay now we have the color bgr2 r bgr bgr2 rgb so we have the color this is the color name in the programming okay any more anyways we have the what we say the results which is the post dot process image so here we have just we don't want the results right so i'm going to give the result itself now we have to draw the post annotation of the image right so i'm going to remove this i think i'm going to give this later on because right now i'm going to add here some more lines of code yeah anyways now i'm going to create here a list called as the im st st which is equal to the empty box okay so this is going to be the weight yeah so it's the empty box here right now after that we are going to give here some the if statements then we are going to use the for loop then again we are going to use the two three if statements at the end anyways let's go ahead and create the if statement if the result dot post landmarks then i'm going to give the mp uh, drawing dot draw the landmarks if the result is pose i mean that the result we have given the pose and where we have given that yeah the pose means it's a function in this okay in the programming in the open cv okay anyways i am going to give here the draw mp drawing dot draw the landmarks now here we have to give two things the first one is the image sorry we have to give the, the three things the first one the image that we are getting the option and the second one is the result which i have to give pose landmarks and the third one is the mp pose which we have created sorry mp pose yeah here we have created the variable okay at the end yeah i have to remove this one so we have all of these the mp connections right now we don't need anything other than this now we have to create here a uh, for loop okay so i'm going to give here something called as for id comma i am in or id comma i am in the enumerate then i have to give something like this right so i have to use all of this code but i'm going to change i'm going to make this code little short first of all i have the result dot post dot landmarks then i'm going to give it the landmark then i am list i'm going to use here instead of this all of these i'm just going to give all of them in just one okay so remove this i am going to remove this also okay now here we have the im list append dot imz right instead of these two only first of all i have to create here the one here 
okay so i'm going to give the head comma w comma height comma width comma underscore okay which is going to be the equal to image dot shape which is equal to image dot shape okay then i'm going to create here the x comma y comma y which is equal to the int and then in the brackets i'm going to give here the i am x into w okay then i am sorry i forgot this yeah now here i just forgot the parenthesis so i, I give here right now so as, as i given right like uh, every time instead of appending them here i'm going to remove these two things and i'm going to give the brackets and then yeah the brackets then id comma x comma y yeah right as you can see we have this one right now i am going to give here the if statement right now we are going to use here the if len statement so right i am going to give the if len if the len is the i am list the list we have created here i am list if it is the zero sorry so here right now we are getting yeah so if it is equal to zero then we have to type all of this one right as you can see so i'm going to explain this after some time but right now i'm just going to give the code something like this if the len i am list is the zero then we have the if i am list to well we are using right so here we are using this but these are the poses right if you open the if you open the open cv or other website something like that website there you will find the uh detection where you are going to get the points for example let's say i am giving you something like this right so here there will be my elbow uh, my elbow point something like this so i'm saying that if the case is something if i'm going down then I, the position is going to be equal to down that's why here we have given the none okay then we have given something called as the second time the first time it's going to be down uh yeah the first time it should not be something like this this much long so here i have to give is if the 12 is and not here and also okay and then 11 12 is equal to the i am list is if they are equal to the i am list then here i have to give here something called as the 14 and here it should be to itself yeah then it should be yeah and and then i have to give here the 14 14 comma 2 and then 13 comma 2 here 13 comma 2 from here to end i don't want this okay so i am going to remove okay now it's going to work i have this one now we are we are saying that if it is the case if these counters match if it is equal to or greater than something like this then i have to get the position is down so at that time it's going to be counted as one one push up okay then we have given the position no then i have to give so it should start from the 12 not from the 11 okay 14 30 yeah so here also same thing 12 and here also the same thing and i forgot so so i didn't write the code so it was suggested by the codium library in python so that's why i just give it like that okay anyways the 12 this also 11 now this should not be like this it should be the less than or equal to the i am list yeah it's going to be the 14 and 13 at the end i am going to remove everything sorry i am going to remove this one this line till here okay now it's going to work now we have to give here the position okay which position it is it is in the position down and something like that okay so we are also saying that position i position is equal to equal to down okay if it is the case in this case so here we have to use here the brackets which we forgot anyways we can use here also and at the end also i'm going to use here the okay 
okay now the everything is fine now we have to give here the positions right so we have to remove this positions here we don't want this one which was by mistake now here at the end what we are saying is like if the position is up so if this is the case like if these are the contours that are matching and it should not be down okay it should be less than or equal to these contours and this down then we have the position which is the up okay at the end i am going to give here the count q and the count which is plus or equal to one okay and then i am going to print here the the count then i have the cv2 dot i am show which i have to print here two dot i am show cv2 dot i am show and here i am going to give here the push-up counter because there will be some frame which is going to detect the body and then it's going to show in the terminal that how many push-ups did i did okay so that's why i am going to give something called as the push-up counter let's push uh, counter okay now we have to flip this image so i'm going to give this cv2 dot flip which is going to flip and sorry i'm going to give the image comma sorry dash one now i'm going to give here a key which is that cv2 dot so it's going to wait wait key for one second one millisecond and yeah then i'm going to say that if the key is equal to the odd already and Q, sorry, Q at the end. Yeah, if it is Q, then I am going to break. Okay. Okay. Now here we are getting some error, right? So here, yeah, double equals. Now we are saying that when we open the frame, right? At that time, what you have to do is like, we if you want to end that, how many times? Like for example. Now, if the person is doing the 10 push-ups and it's it counted till the five push-ups, right? Now I want to end that. So I'm going to press the Q on my keyboard and it's going to be ended, right? So that's what we are going to do. At the end, we have to release after it uh, after we give the order, it should work, right? So I'm going to give the CV2 dot destroy all windows. So it's going to destroy what we have done, right? What we have, uh, what the window has been created. Now let's test this code. So for that, I'm going to use here this video one or let's choose the second video itself video one yeah now let's run this program so guys as you can see here that the person is doing the push-ups but we are not getting anything in the terminal right ignoring the empty camera frame yeah there is some problem in the code here right so guys the error that we are getting here is just because here as you can see we have given here these points right below this one we have given him something extra here if the position we have to not give this okay and we also sorry wait yeah here where it is yeah here i have to remove these two lines which is right now i don't need so here i am going to give down okay i think it's going to work right now so i'm going to run the program and let's see what what we get the output so it's taking some time for running yeah uh, yeah as you can see the person did the yeah as you can see we are getting the one two three four and five six seven so the person how many dips how many push-ups that, that the person is doing we are getting till the time right like seven one two the so the first time he did the one then second time he did the two then three, then four, then five. So it's counting how many push-ups did he do? Okay. Then after at the at the end, when before the that person stopped, right? So we are getting the ignoring empty camera frame because the person stopped there, and we have given here if not the success, if the person is there but he's not doing the push-ups, then we should get ignoring the empty camera frame. Instead of that, we can give the break something like that. You can change that later on. Now we have tested that with the video one. We can also do that with the video, right? So I am going to test again with the just video, video. And now let's run the program and let's see whether are we getting or not. So it's taking some time for running. Yeah, as you can see, we are getting the one. Then when he did the second time, then we are getting the three as you can see right so which means that 
our python program is working successfully so this python program is working successfully of the push up counter yeah which is very useful we can use this in many cases in gyms etc in training centers okay so anyhow guys that's all for this video and the code given written here will be given in the description below so first of all try to do this code code by yourself and then if you are getting some errors you might check that so thank you all for watching this video and i will see you all in another tutorial thanks for watching goodbye Thank <laughs> you.